Good morning. This is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. The extreme cold added another layer of danger for firefighters in Aberdeen yesterday morning. Around 4.30, crews responded to a two-story apartment house that had flames coming from the first floor. Everyone was out of the building, but one person was taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. The Brown County Emergency Management set up a warming trailer for the firefighters to rotate shifts. Overnight lows Sunday dipped to 24 degrees below zero in Aberdeen. Crews in western Cutlerland also had to deal with the extreme cold yesterday. Shortly after 11 a.m. Monday, firefighters from Jackson and Pennington counties were called to a home in Jackson County for reports of a fire. Crews first on scene found fire burning with heavy smoke and visible flames inside the home. No one was hurt. Firefighters knocked down the flames in seven below temperatures and prevented the fire from spreading to nearby buildings. In Meade County, firefighters from two departments were called to a campground on Sturgis Road for reports of a camper fire. Crews from the Piedmont and Blackhawk Fire Departments braved sub-zero temps to stop the fire from spreading to other campers nearby. Meade County Emergency Management tells Kettleland News that the cause of the fire is believed to be a small electric heater. No one was hurt. The American Red Cross is helping the family that lived in the camper. And check out this video. A pipe burst at the Willow Run Fitness Center in far eastern Sioux Falls, sending water all over the gym. Great Life, which operates the gym, says the fitness center, pro shop, and the Willows is closed for now. A post on its Facebook page says the cardio machines are still available for use. The restaurant section of the facility is expected to reopen as normal today. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. Good morning, Scott. Well, good morning, everybody. We are looking at another cold start to the day, but temperatures will warm the closer we get to this weekend. And for the weekend, we're looking at numbers to return to average or even above average, especially by the time we do hit Sunday. So that is what we have going in the outline. Otherwise, remaining cold today, dangerous wind chills, minus 30s and minus 40s for this morning. 30s and 40s. Now we're talking about those temperatures being above zero for this weekend and into next week. More details with Brian coming up. Thanks, Scott. The frigid temps across Kelly Land are taking a toll on vehicles. The owner of A Plus Towing says he took calls all Monday morning of people having car troubles. On Sunday, he says he took 150 to 200 calls, and yesterday, a similar call volume. Yeah, it's mostly dead vehicles or flooded vehicles. Sometimes when it's this cold, the car will give the engine too much fuel and then they'll flood out and they just won't start it. He says they also get calls for flat tires when it's this cold. A Kettleland nonprofit has a new set of wheels thanks to a big donation. Almost Home Canine Rescue Director Katie Day says she believes a transmission went out on the van the organization had been using. The group planned on getting sponsors to help replace the vehicle. Then Plains Commerce Bank decided to buy a van for the rescue. Well, I don't think I've ever been speechless in my life. I'm a pretty big talker, and I was choked up. The nonprofit is looking for additional van sponsors. Head to this story right here on Kelloland.com to find out how you can help. The Veterans Parkway Project, once known as Highway 100, has reached the halfway point. On Monday, state and city officials met with South Dakota's congregate congressional delegation to mark the occasion. It'll basically do the same thing I-229 does, except on a wider scale. The project is designed to relieve traffic congestion and promote growth in Sioux Falls. It loops around the east side of Sioux Falls, connecting I-90 to the north to I-29 to the south at the T interchange. We still have some more to build on this parkway to complete it. Uh, all the way down to Interstate 29, which is where we want to connect it, and the state has already fully committed those funds. You've got multiple agencies working on a project like this. How do you bring that all together? Well, you know, we don't ever stop talking about the project. I think most people don't really think about how many years it takes to plan something like this and the fact that we can't ever just set it aside. Construction crews have completed eight and a half miles of the project on the northern end connecting I-90. Now they hope to finish the eight and a half miles on the southern end by 2026. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right, low this morning, Sioux Falls, 23 below zero. That's heavenly cold again, 27 below zero in Yankton. So some of the worst of that in southeast Kettleland. Today, well, we're starting to turn things around. That wind, though, is out of the southeast at 15 to 25 in Pier. 
Chamberlain. So some of those areas very, very cold. And we are looking at the forecast here, at least right now. Uh, based upon our latest projections here, a few areas of clouds, but uh, maybe a little light snow in that forecast late tonight and tomorrow. I do think across uh, parts of the Sioux Falls area, light snow accumulation could be in the offing here for tomorrow morning. Don't expect a lot here, but uh, maybe a half an inch or so. And then uh, forecast numbers are getting better and better as we see the worst of this cold snap beginning to shift to the east and uh, really dissipating. In fact, we're going to see a major turnaround by the weekend into early next week as above normal weather will have its eyes set on Kettle Land, and that will feel much better down the road. Highs today, zero Sioux Falls, 10 above in Rapid City. Don't forget the wind there in the central. Tonight, not as cold. Sioux Falls at 7 below zero, 5 below in Aberdeen. And then tomorrow, we're going to make it back above zero, 10 in Sioux Falls. That is just a whole nother world. You get those kind of numbers, and yeah, you know, things are a little more functional outside again. 18 on Thursday, 20s by Friday. And there's that weekend. Look at those numbers in Aberdeen getting into the low 40s early next week. We may get into a section of some wind there, too. But at this point, uh, you know, that's going to clear uh, what little snows on the ground. Parts of central South Dakota, snow-free areas are going to warm up the fastest. I think there is the possibility of 50-degree weather not far-fetched. Rapid City, too, close to 50 by Monday. Check out the details with our Storm Center update right now here at Kettleland.com. Stay warm and have a great day.